Welcome back to another tutorial from World of Level Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple two texture material so you can begin to paint your landscapes. I will show you how to set up color textures, normal maps, basic landscape tiling, how to apply this material onto the landscape, assign layer infos, and begin painting the texture layers. This is a perfect beginner tutorial to get you started. Here I have a map open and I already created a landscape by going to landscape mode, shift 3, and using the default settings that UE4 gives you. So I haven't modified anything and it's just a flat terrain. I'm going to open up a new content browser so you can see better and we need to create a new material. You can create this material inside any folder you want and for better organization I recommend you save it inside the materials folder. And I already have a folder structure set up, so I'm going to go inside that folder. I'm going to create a new folder. And inside this folder is where I'm going to create the material. Go to add new and choose material. This will give you a blank material and we want to rename it. And I'm going to name mine M underscore LNDS for landscape to paint layers. And you can name this anything you want. The M prefix stands for material. It's just a way so you can recognize what it is and find it faster if you need to. I'm going to double click on the material to open up the material editor. And now we need to insert some textures we can use and that we'll be able to paint with. I'm going to go inside the content browser and inside starter content, which you can include with every project you create. There is a textures folder that contains a set of textures color, normal maps that are very good to get started so you can create your materials. So instead of having to create your own textures, I recommend that you start with these and use them instead. And then you can always swap them out later with your own custom textures. So inside the textures folder, I'm gonna select two color textures. These are T ground grass and T ground gravel. Left click hold and drag each texture right into the material editor. These two textures will be inserted as texture samples. And these are our color textures. So we'll have grass and we'll have dirt. I have the grass at the top and the dirt on the bottom. Their order doesn't really matter. It all depends which texture you want as base, which will be applied to the entire landscape. And in this case, I want the grass to be the base. So it's going to be at the top. Now to create layers that we are able to paint onto the landscape, we need a special node called Landscape Layer Blend. Right click on the empty space and search for Landscape. And it's this node right here. Landscape Layer Blend. Left click on it to insert it. At the moment it will be completely empty. So we need to set up layers for each texture. Select the Layer Blend node. Go into the Details panel. And click on this plus icon two times. Since we have two textures, we need two elements. I'm going to expand the two elements. And for the first one, which is zero, I'm going to define a layer name, which is going to be our grass. This name can be anything you want, but it should be something you can identify based on the texture. For blend type, I'm going to keep it at default LB Wave Blend. There are two other options, which are height blend and alpha blend. And they are very different in the way that each texture will be used and blended when you paint the layers on your landscape. Now it's very important that you understand which one to use and when and what they do. But to explain each one is outside the scope of this tutorial. And it's a bit more technical. I do have a full video in UE4 Landscapes Essentials course that explains each blend type and how to use it in detail. But to get things started here, I'm going to keep it at LB Weight Blend for both layers, which is the most common blend type to use. I'm going to set Preview Weight to 0.5. This is only used for the preview inside the Material Editor. And then for the second layer, I'm going to give layer name Dirt, Blend Type LB Weight Blend, and Preview Weight to 0.5. And now we need to connect each texture sample into the Layer Blend input. So I'm going to take the RGB of the grass, left click hold and drag and connect it into layer grass input and then RGB of the dirt left click hold and drag into the layer dirt input and then take the layer blend output left click hold and drag 
into base color of the material. And this right here is the most basic layer blend texture setup for a functional landscape material. Now, of course, you need a lot more, but this right here by itself would work. Now, we're not going to stop here. We're going to go a bit further and we need a way to adjust texture tiling for each texture. So I'm going to come over here, right click in the empty space, search for landscape, and I'm going to insert a landscape layer chords node. This will control tiling of our textures. I'm going to connect it into the UV input for the grass, then select the landscape layer chords, and I'm going to change the map and scale to make it larger to two. And then I'm going to duplicate this node by selecting it, press Ctrl W to duplicate. And we're going to use this for the dirt. So we have two different tiling controls, one for grass and one for dirt. And now we need to set up normal maps. I'm going to go back into the content browser and we need the normal map for the dirt and for the grass. And they're right here. So I'm going to drag the grass and the dirt normal maps into the material editor. And I'm going to position the grass at the top and the dirt right below it. The same way we have our color textures positioned. So it's easier to recognize what each of these normal maps are. And I'm actually going to create a comment for each node so I can easily recognize it. This will help a lot when I begin to connect the texture tiling and when this material gets complex. So the top one is grass and the bottom one is dirt. And to get this comment box pop up, just hover over to the top left of the node until you see the three dots and then left click to begin writing the comment. And now I'm going to take the bottom landscape chords, the same one we're using for dirt color, and I'm going to left click hold and drag into the UV input for the dirt normal map. And then I'm going to take the top landscape chords, the one for the grass color, and then left click hold and drag and connect it into the UV input of the grass normal map. So essentially we're going to tile the color and the normal maps using the same landscape chords. So the tiling stays the same. And then I'm going to create a comment for each of the landscape chords so I know which texture they control. And next we need to have a layer blend node for the normal maps, just like we have it for the color. Now I don't want to have to set up the same properties that I already did for color. So the easiest way is to take the layer blend node that you already set up, select it, Control W to duplicate and move it down to be used for normal maps. Then connect the RGB of the grass into layer grass input and then the dirt RGB into the layer dirt input. And then the output of the layer blend needs to be connected into the normal map input of the material. And now we have our color and our normal map set up. Next we need a few more things. First, we need to insert a constant on the vector. So I'm going to right click in the empty space, search for constant, and insert this constant on the vector. And I'm going to leave it at zero, meaning that it's going to be turned off. And I will connect it into the metallic input. This is not necessary because by default, the material is non metallic. But I like to do this as a visual reminder. And next, we need to set up roughness for each texture layer. Roughness controls how shiny or how rough a material will be. And by default, it's going to be very shiny and very reflective. And we need to control this for each layer, for the grass and for the dirt. So we need two constant one vectors, one for grass and one for dirt. And we need to enter a default value. I'm going to give this one 0.9 and this will be used for grass. A value of zero is going to be very shiny and will reflect back a lot of light and the value of one is going to be very rough and will not reflect back a lot of light. And the roughness values have to stay between zero and one. So 0.9 will have a bit of reflectivity, a bit of shininess, but primarily it's going to be rough. It won't reflect much light. And then I'm going to insert another constant one vector by holding down one on the keyboard and left clicking. This is a shortcut for a constant one vector going to give a comment to this one, dirt, and give a default value of 0.9. And then we need a layer blend to determine which of these values will be used for which texture layer. So again, I'm going to duplicate the layer blend node for the color 
it's going to maintain the same properties we entered before. And I'm going to connect the grass into layer grass input and the dirt into the layer dirt input. And then the output of this layer blend will go into roughness input of the material. Now you could use actual textures for roughness. So instead of using a constant one vector, you would use a texture just like we did for color, just like we did for normal maps, and it would also work. But using a constant one vector is a lot faster, and a lot of times you will have foliage on your terrain. So you don't really need to use a roughness texture, but you could. And you would just plug those textures into this layer blend node, similar way as we did for color and as we did for normal map. All right, so this is the most basic and functional two-layer texture landscape material. I'm gonna hit apply, save, and now let's go back into our map. We need to assign this material onto this landscape. So I'm gonna left click to select the landscape and go into the details panel, scroll down to landscape material, and left click to browse for this material. But actually instead I'm gonna go into the content browser, navigate into the folder where we have this material saved, select it, and then just click on this arrow icon to use selected asset from the content browser. It will assign this material onto the terrain and the landscape will turn black. This is normal. This is because we need to create the layer info so the textures, the layers can show up. To do that, we need to go to landscape mode, shift three, then switch over to paint, scroll down, and I'm going to pull off this modes panel and move it over here so you can see better. Under edit layers, I have just one landscape layer. And these layers are available in Unreal Engine 4 version 4.24. This is a new feature that was added. And this is important to know because when you create layer info for each texture, whichever landscape layer you have selected, that's where that texture will be assigned and applied to. I have a separate tutorial that goes more into depth about using landscape layers. So I recommend you take a look at those tutorials if you want to know more. But to keep things simple here, I have this one layer selected. And now we need to create the layer info for each texture. I'm going to click on the plus icon. And we have two options. Weight blended layer normal or non-weight blended layer. And the one you choose will depend on the blend type you have set for each layer within the layer blend node. So here on the blend type, for both layers, we have LB weight blend. This is how the textures will be blended between each other. So what we have selected here determines which layer info you create. And because we have LB weight blend, we need to choose weight blended layer normal. There's a lot more that goes on here and you really need to understand the differences between different blend types and the differences between two layer infos. I do cover both in the UE4 Landscape Essentials course. So if you want to know more and really understand what's going on and how to use each one to your benefit, download the course. But for right now, because our blend type is set to LB weight blend, I'm going to choose the layer info to weight blended layer normal. A menu will pop up asking me where do I want to save this layer info. It will create a folder automatically with a map name and in the same directory where the map is saved. And I'm not going to change anything here. I'm going to use the defaults that UE4 gives me. And I'm just going to click OK. And as soon as you do that, your first texture and your first layer info will be applied automatically to the entire landscape. This becomes your base texture, your base layer. Now let's do the same thing to the dirt layer, to the dirt texture. I'm going to click on the plus icon and choose weight blended layer normal. Same menu will pop up and I'm just going to click OK. And now we can begin to paint our textures. Now since we have our grass already applied, we don't need to do anything to the grass. So I'm going to select the dirt layer Make sure I am under paint menu and then left click, hold and drag on top of the landscape to begin painting the dirt. And you might need to go back to the paint menu and adjust the tool settings, change the tool strength, maybe adjust the burst size and the fall off. But after you create the layer infos, you can now paint the textures on your landscape. The key here is having that layer that you want to paint selected. 
and then left click hold and drag to paint. And right now we have a lot of very noticeable texture tiling. And this is a whole nother problem that you have to deal with, especially with landscapes. But we did set up the landscape chords nodes. So I'm going to go back into the material editor and adjust the map and scale for both of them to 5. If you make any changes inside the material editor, you have to hit apply before seeing the results on the landscape. There is a better way to do this in real time by setting up a material instance and then a few parameters for the landscape chords so you can adjust it without having to hit apply and compile the shaders every single time. But I don't want to complicate this simple process yet and we're just sticking with the basics. So now this already looks a little bit better and the texture tiling is not as noticeable near the player. So this is how you create your very first basic two paint layer landscape material. If you want to know more about setting up material instances, dealing with texture tiling, and learning everything you need to know about blend types and layer infos so you can create more realistic and better looking landscape materials, I recommend you take a look at UE4 Landscape Essentials course. It has over 30 plus videos and it's over 5 hours long and it will show you everything you need to know to get started for how to sculpt landscapes and how to create landscape materials entirely inside UE4.